Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome to Welcome Japan channel. So we did a lot of Japanese food review video in the past and one of them is about our favorite instant ramen which you can watch it here. I'll leave the link in our video description below. Moving on, there is something very interesting that I want to share with you guys today. Have you ever seen instant ramen recipe on TikTok? It's a while ago when the instant ramen made itself famous on TikTok for some unique and interesting recipe. And we can see that these recipe haven't really the famous in Japan yet. So what do I, a Japanese, think about this recipe? Today, we would like to actually introduce to you two of those recipe, see if it actually is delicious or not. Join me today is our newest member, Sweet Girl Rosalina San from Indonesia. Let's go! Oh. Hi everyone, Konnichiwa! My name is Rosalina and today I will show you how to make creamy TikTok ramen. Oh. So my friend last week told me that she found a viral video in TikTok and she said it's about uh, creamy ramen and she tried to make it she said it's really delicious and because she mentioned it about every day I start being curious and decide to make it on my own okay without any further ado let's go <laughs> let's see what inside is ramen okay so this is the first one that I found inside the ramen vegetable mix and then powder soup and of course the ramen okay let's cook it put the ramen inside add the vegetable mix okay while we are waiting for the ramen let's crack the egg into this foil and then add the powder soup on the top of the egg add the mayonnaise as much as you want I want a little bit okay add some garlic powder and also the chili powder then let's mix it okay now let's put the ramen inside I also add the water don't forget the scallions and mix it once again so yummy okay so this is the creamy ramen they have viral on tiktok god looks really delicious can't wait to try it okay guys let's try mm, it's yummy it's really good believe me do you want some <laughs> Okay, honestly, this is my first time using mayonnaise and it's really good. I never knew about it and I guess I will try again next time. And if you curious about the taste, just try to make it. I dare you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Thank you, Rosa san. All right. And now it's my time to make a different one. Cooking start. First, Add butter and add garlic. Add soy sauce. Mix well. Add sugar. And now the sauce is ready. Add the cooked noodles that you cook separately in the sauce. Make sure to add the chili pepper on the sauce before adding the noodle. After adding the noodle, add two eggs and mix well. And you are done. Put it on the plate and top it with shirashi sauce on it to finish. Okay, itadakimasu. very aromatic from soy sauce and have some spices very oishi I like it a little strong 
So I add mayonnaise. I recommend it, it could make it taste richer and more oishi. All right, thank you for watching to the end. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.